What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you know, I've just had my most recent fight on the 21st of June and a highly requested video from you guys was for me to just sit down, watch it, break it down, go through what I was thinking, go through different moments. So today that's what we're going to do. Without further ado, let's get into the video. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Six rounds okay, the super middleweight so it was a six round Final fight. This fight was my first six rounder and uh, against a Raven, tough opponent, to a very tough opponent who doesn't, he hasn't been stopped a lot. And, um, yeah, the game plan wasn't to go out and stop him, I'll be honest. It was to go out behind the lead hand, as you can see here. Just touching the jab, touching the jab. And at this point, I'm mainly trying to see how he reacts. So I'm just pouring out the jab, seeing what his reactions are like. If he jumps in... He, I watched a few of his fights before we boxed. And he likes to switch stance as he does there. So as soon as he switched, I then poured my lead hand over his and then shot the, shot the backhand down the middle and then he didn't want any more of that. So, yeah. I must have watched this fight about seven, eight times already. And it's only a couple of days since the fight. So, yeah, I have seen this a lot now, but I did want to break it down for you guys. So here, look, I'm just touching, touching. Got big, wide and then, on him. Long arms. when I get the opportunity, I like to open up, obviously. Open him up. Try and get my shots behind his guard. Because, as you can see, he's, he's, he's protecting himself quite well. But, throughout the whole night, I was landing my jab, just touching with the jab quite easily. The distance, and the jab the is one of my best punches. There, you see there. I was the jabbing and I was bringing the uppercuts short. in. And as the fight goes on, you'll see, I start to get the uppercut in, nice in full force. Jab there as well. you can really see... Can see that but yeah, just like the first really, round, really the plan was always jab. controlling with the lead hand, with the jab, Making sure he's got space and then work off that. Shots as well. Here, see, I had no idea what happened here, and then I, as you see, I pounced on him because I thought it's a fight, you've got to protect yourself at all times. Then, I, then the ref says stops, obviously. I did, but I think he was claiming an elbow, but as you listen to the commentary, I don't think there's any particular reason why. They don't, they don't see it. I don't see it. I think they slow it down at the end of the round as well. And it may have been my forearm, but I don't know. What was going through my head at this point, I thought he's popped his shoulder. I remember looking at him in the corner and he was like doing this. And I thought, oh, we're not stopping the fight because of that. So I jumped on it, jumped on it a bit just to try and like, yeah, in case it was that and they were going to stop the fight. I was like, no, I'm not having that. But this sort of woke a bit of a fire in him and he started then swinging, which worked perfectly. I was just, I'm on the ropes here, but I'm working. As soon as he's punching, I'm blocking, blocking, and then doing my thing. With these journeyman type figures, they don't often open up a lot, and you've got to try and find the openings. So, with him doing this, I was like, happy days, perfect. Come, come on. Here I was opening up again, trying to target the body. I knew I probably wouldn't stop him to the head, and the body was where I was going to try and take the wind out of him. You see there, another left to, left to the body. Nice, nice touch at the top and then whipping that body And this, this was around. the ref who was warning me because I kept the jab in his face. He was like, if you've got, you got, you nice you got your lead hand out, you've got to use it. So that, that I think he said that a couple of times, but you know, uppercut is working doing, all night. Really. There's a good uppercut there from Thank you very much. A bit of commentary for that. The left <laughs> eye there of wood, turns south yeah, and that was the end of round one. So I went back to the corner and Barry just said, very good round. Very good, that's pretty much all he said. He's like, just keep doing your thing. Okay, so we go into round two. Very much the same, working the lead hand. Straight away, I'm active with the jab. I've landed two or three there. Another one. And now I'm just checking it, going around the back of the hand. Looking for the lead hook. Yeah, just keeping on the end of the jab. He swapped stance again. He was a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Keeps that distance really double nice jab backhand, well, left to the body. Say, just yeah, mixing up the levels really the because, the jab, as I said, sure the journeyman, when they tuck up, you've got to create good. your own openings, head and body. And he's got to be careful there with just kind of... Yeah, he comes, he comes forward and that was pretty much what... In that middle distance, he didn't jab a lot David and I really established that early at the, end of, at the end of round one and in the start of this round. He weren't jabbing a lot, so I had my I had my way with my jab. But it was when he came in close, that's when I had to be careful. So when I was on the ropes, I was blocking up again. I don't know what he, I don't know what that was. I don't know what he was talking about. 
That was good, good head movement. Got on to the inside, rattled a couple but onto the body. I just had to block his his big swings really. Referee, Obviously, if he caught sure. me one of them, again, what was, what was who going knows? On but, there. but when he gets that he didn't. kind of range, so. there, that's where that's where he needs to be, isn't it? Definitely Another was body shot. quite well with uh, Davy on the ropes. But Davy's got that good movement. He's not yeah, letting round the guard. Him at all while the uppercut was Keep the main composed. shot of the night for me, and the, and other than the jab, it was marking him up. I, you may or may not have known, I busted my hand as well. Hands, and you That's see, as the fight goes on, hand. I was landing him and the it started the to hurt my hand. But in the fight, it was only round two, but I was, fe I was feeling really good. Feeling really good. Fitness-wise, it was hot in your call, cool, very hot. But I don't know if you guys know, in my gym, we train the heaters on. So it's hotter in the gym than it is in, in, in your call, cool, that's for sure. So we're used to it. Their left hook, right hand. Some blood coming from the nose when we're holding barriers telling me wood. keep your head tight he so that he doesn't land anything around the back of my head which he tried he did a few great. times he did look for the back Shrugs of the headshots they're back straight back to the lead hand as soon as we separate on my coach's orders straight back to the lead hand i think here's an off cut watch this watch this that was nice you gotta admit you gotta admit that was nice <laughs> back, that was probably what started my hand, if I'm honest. Just slightly off the angle. I mean, Wood took there, it well. I'm just he's sort of teeing off another uppercut. Because well, he was walking forward with his hands up. The yeah, uppercut was there all day, Davey's all night. Really got a good composure going on. He's picking his shots really nicely. Teeing, teeing but Wood as I said, fair play to him. He's a openings. very tough man. He was eating the shots all night. There was power in him. Even when I'm watching this, the jab doesn't look very powerful. But when I'm in there, two, another uppercut, uppercut again. and uppercut. missed afterwards. Off the back of the one yeah, two. when I'm in there, the jab Sounds was was solid. It. And I know because I'm throwing it. Really it the, the jab was solid. And you can see by his CJ face, he was marking up. It, when you watch it, really, it doesn't look as powerful. Really but um, yeah, I can assure you it was. And he even said something to me briefly in the in the doctor's office afterwards about my power and me as a fighter so yeah all right so we go into round three again barry in the corner was just telling me pretty much the same you were i weren't really going to stop him with a one knockout shot as i said this guy doesn't get knocked out he's been stopped maybe four times in 30 odd fights he doesn't so get knocked out by one shot so barry's like we'll just break him down again with the lead hand and I and think again, with round three was my best round, if I'm honest. That space down, get into that middle range From and the seven or eight times I watched the fight already. Lead hand. And I was letting him come. The and I was doing my work on the ropes. Look here, body shot, that sinking that him, sinking him. Body and head. And then, when he was within punching range, and then blocking his. Slightly static again. He's and then I'll turn him onto the ropes though, so that I'm now in the centre. Ring positioning is crucial. Always want to be in the centre when you can. But when I'm when David my back's to the really ropes, nice I was still working. Off the jab and then rear uppercut, which has been definitely catching wood out. Mixing up the pace of the jabs, some, some fast, some slow, keeping them but guessing. Nice long jab, that long reach, like you say. You Lead right hand, range, just mixing it up, so he never right he never knows what's coming from me. As you can see again, his face is is really marking up now, and it's only round three. Little back of the head shot, but that is what it is. <laughs> The stab to the body, right? So the right hand to the body is always a good shot. But because right I'd landed a few to the head, which was a good shot. I then yeah, started to started sink it down again head, because he's, he won't really go anywhere to the head. Sinks Here's in another up, little flurry. Jab to the head, oh, no. to the body. He won't go anywhere to the head. There, I could land him all night and he wasn't really moving. But stabbing the body was taking the wind out of him, taking his energy, and he was landing clean. Right hand to the head. Body. Every every time I was going to the head, I was finishing with the body. Locking up, that was good upper shot cut. Stuff. Five, six punches. Yeah. Most all of them got through. I'll be honest, I was feeling good. I was. Wide. You guys may may or may not agree. I, I think you probably will. This was my best performance to date. I get to, I got to show a different side of me. I've improved massively as a fighter, as you guys know. But it was my best performance. I got to show my boxing ability and also show that I can break someone down. I've got a variety of shots. I can defend myself here. Look. Different flurries, landing uppercuts inside. Lovely, lovely little flurry. Finish with the left Make them miss and make them pay. Yeah, the confidence. That's a that's a big thing the commentator just mentioned there. I felt confident in there. And the stab to the body, yeah, look. You go to the head, they got their hands up here, stab, make that's them go back down. Right hand into the body. 
I, I felt like confident. That's well. that's off the back of me training hard. I've trained very hard for this fight and, and in general. They really put a dent and in him. I have a good if team behind me. My dad like was there. Just keep yeah, everything was in my favour. So might be able to ask I was I was confident. I just had to go in there and, and do what I do best. Here, hasn't he? yeah, it's been a really good Another stab to the body. See that head and stab back downstairs. At this point, I think he was hurt. I've hurt him a few times, but here he was definitely hurt at the end of that round. Arguably a bit lucky that the bell We're came. The but there. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. As he goes back to the corner. I think maybe. Yeah, the body shots were. The body, body shots were zapping him, really. You see there, there's another body. Round. All these body yeah, shots were zapping him. It was hot in there, as I mentioned. The body, right the 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 body shots, he was. Like it really, really yeah. The wind out of wood. Just getting there it is. peppered from all angles, really. In, 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 in a respectful way. All right, so we go into round four. And it was always. It was a case now, Barry Always said, stick to the game plan, your you're call, softening them up, but don't look, still don't look for it. We didn't go and say, right, we're going to go it's stop him. Nice day in but he, I think we both knew it was on the cards at this point. So but given it's four rounds, it was half, half the fight had already been. It could have easily just carried on me me landing and got a, a unanimous points decision. But I think we both knew the stoppage was on the cards if we play it right. So soften him up and not... Not overdo my gas tank either. I've never done six rounds before. In sparring, I've done six, eight, ten, twelve. So I knew I had it in me, but obviously when you're fighting, it's different. So, again, back to the game plan. Picking him off, boxing and moving, and then planting my feet where possible at their body shot. Let him work on the ropes, and then I'll do my thing. But this is good from Wood as he leans in, but Davy just nudges him off with the shoulder, finds a little he bit was, of room. He was feeling the pace now. Himself. It's not like he was feeling Wood the pace, and I, I felt really fresh. For this camp, I wasn't even punch. able to run. Not really caught Davey if you follow me on other social medias, you'll know that I, I couldn't run for this fight, so I've done a lot of assault bike, is that he can just spin throw bike, or the what bike. And I felt really fit in there, so I'm happy with that. Where Davey I don't know what he was complaining. I don't know if that was an elbow. Well, well, obviously, it's unintentional, but I don't think it was. Just piece, touching the jab, touching it. I almost called him in here. Look, and you see that that right hand sinking into the into That's the lower nice right stomach. Hand, isn't it? Throws the left Another uppercut. Just throws that right hand I was having my best work when he was coming in, so I didn't again. mind having my back to the ropes. Yeah, finding his shots nicely. Like I say, that that rear uppercut starting to land. He's starting to time it now as Woods coming into him. Almost going to the ropes to yeah, throw that play. shot. Yeah, fair play. He just now. kept coming forward. Kept coming forward. But such a tough guy. Minute remaining. But here, in round four and a little bit of a Sugar Ray Leonard flurry there. Bravery, <laughs> Someone put them two next to each other. <laughs> with a great combination. Yeah. And just how much yeah, So there's 50 seconds left. Stabbing the body. Still mixing up the different four. different levels. But he was holding a lot more, and I knew at this point he was feeling it. He kept shaking his head, but when you do that, you're feeling the shots. Yeah, turn him. Nice Big Kevin in the background, Followed watching by eagerly. With that right hand landing on Wood's chin there. Again, straight back to the lead hand. Wood coming back. Though. Everything comes off the jab. Some heavy shots there. You have to give him a lot of credit because. He's taken plenty, but his fighting right hand, spirit left uppercut. touches. No point like I'm trying to sink the body. To... If you're in that Davy corner now, if you're Barry, Smith, so you hear the comment. What would you be saying commentators now would saying? What would Barry Smith be saying to me? Just keep doing what you're doing, and if it comes, it comes. Or would you be sending him out there? Yeah. The so in this round again, he was saying really he's softened it. up now. We we can sort. You know, he didn't say. He still didn't say go for it though. It's weird. He's like just do your thing and it will come. Either this round or the next round, it will come. So once he's got him there, so straight behind the lead hand as we go into the, in the, the fifth and final in. round. You know, if you, so I've just pulled the result, but <laughs> I end up stopping him at the end of this round. Here, stranger, he was calling me on. I, think that and I was just pinging the jab and, and I think don't it play into their exactly game. When they call you on, don't start doing the same. Just stick to your plan. Forced or feel like he's forced and to then here he was straight marching me forward again, shooting the right hand, the uppercut, him, unless it's with a body just shot, that's mixing possible. the variety of shots Another all night, there again from keep him guessing, yeah, lead exactly. left hook, <laughs> so here he caught me with a right hand which obviously was just glancing kind of but I heard some people in the crowd go oh like, it didn't hurt me, it didn't hurt me. 
But this is where that heat of York Hall, like you were saying before, yeah, can. The heat. It's easy for us Again, to I didn't feel the heat, but I, there, I guess he may have, other people might have another the cut. But the heat in your call is a real thing, a real thing. The, really the change room where we were, I had my post-fight cake. I went back afterwards, it was all basically melted. After I'd had my post-fight cake by it, it, it was melted everywhere. So it was hot, it was hot. Anyway, back to the fight. Long right hand there, Davey. He's just continuing to box exactly how he has from the yeah. beginning, which is of course with a lot of boxing. Points. Boxing how I have from the beginning is. I think that's a good thing. If you can, if you, you can, can keep your composure there. throughout a fight, that's a right sign of, the body's been catching him. He's almost of a good boxer. To throw it to the head there, but like you say, it was just Mixing that range. Up. The left body shot. See, he's a tough, tough man. More uppercuts. Again, there's that uppercut. Yeah, that he just you don't want to start losing your shape, losing your the form. On his face there, Dave, sticking to the game plan from either. round one to round six. Right hand, or five. That was a little bit of pain from a twinge in his right hand, or he caught him absolutely. So sweet, that and he can't it was a bit of both. It was a bit of both. It was the down. pain from a hand because I had done it, but I think it was more the fact it was just a clean uppercut when I landed it. This here, Lovely. how he's taken them, I don't know. And he's still firing back. Well, that was and a terrific is, combination again, wasn't it? Wood is just still there, you know. Great yeah. sort of sweeping jab, followed by the right in the body. Great combination, very well put I think together. Here you can he's see he's tired. Shots, he's just, Wood's just withstanding it. And he's marked up. He's, he's had two very, cuts over both eyes, I believe. Or underneath one. Seconds around five. 20, 22 seconds to go. And then Barry is telling me now just to walk him, walk him forward. So I then put my hands up and walked forward a bit. Long right hand, but he was just pulling his feet back there, Wood. He wasn't that time as the chopping right yes. collided with his jaw. Final few seconds of this round, you see really the blood's pouring from his eye. Point is he really looked hurt or and like yeah, he's about to I went back to the corner. No. So here, I didn't know the fight had been stopped, really. Oh, they don't really show it. But you can just briefly the see the ref wave it off, and I heard Barry over. cheer. Barry sort of looked round, and then looked at me and cheered, and I went, what? And I was like, oh, oh OK, <laughs> OK, the fight's off. I went up to him, like, said thank you very much. Uh, obviously, he was, he was getting seen to, but I was like, thank you. As always, just full respect to all of my opponents. Uh, and yeah, obviously, he cheered to the crowd. So that was it. I'd say my best performance to date, a fifth round TKO, going over to Big Kev, thanking him for everything he does for me. Barry was happy afterwards, he said a performance like that is, I think he gave me a 9 out of 10. And obviously it, it looks good for him too, the gym. I've been with Barry now, this is my fourth fight and I've come on massively. So I'm glad that I put on a good performance and, and he is too, that it, it shows that the work he's putting into me is working. So yeah. All right, so that was my eighth professional fight, a full breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, just something a little bit different. My second stoppage as a pro, and long may it continue. I think with the route we're going, where I'm at in the gym, the sparring I'm getting, it's only upwards from here. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the fight. Follow all my socials, Frankie underscore Davey. Subscribe to the channel. Team Davey.